How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We got ourselves Diabit in winner's finals. Saf beat me on Ragnar in order to get onto top tables to face off against Gamma Mons. We do have the ghost game matchup for our finals of Silly Week. Double hero setup versus double Angoramon. And this is going to be one of those ones where I'm going to be, at the very least, having played against uh, Die Rabbit, kind of know what it does. Simba going to be swinging with jamming, which is going to keep it nice and safe. But the Gammon cards, I don't fully remember. It's kind of like a blast from the past back to some of the original videos on this channel where I'm reading the Gammon cards in real time, just trying to guess them. I think it was like as I started doing them before I started doing the overlays on top. All right, we are going to load a Gammon underneath here. I'm assuming that's off the hero effect. And looks like we're going to do it again. You gain a memory off of it as well, which is pretty nice. Gulas now going to come down. And Gulas does have retail. So that will kill both. And we're going to play out the Gammon sideways. And on play, search. I'm kind of surprised we loaded up so many. I'm assuming that they have a way to pick things back up from trash. Otherwise, there was a lot of cards that... Went to trash as a result. A third hero passing for one. We definitely need to see that Ruli played out ASAP. If they have the level four that free plays the Ruli, then maybe we'll be able to do it, but it doesn't seem like we have it just yet. I'm gonna take the Simbra and Goramon that gives you the memory back when you uh, delete something in combat. Once again, gonna load a Gammon. We have three Gammon tool. It's interesting that loading them up and giving yourself the memory is preferable to going for an evolution for draw. I think I probably would have only loaded one of them. It does seem interesting. It feels like uh, the Gammon cards, as a result of this new hero, kind of have uh, cross heart fundamentals. I'm gonna play the regular Smon. And I think because we sent so many of those Gammons underneath before, and because we're choosing to go through them uh, with the load rather than Digivolve, we are missing quite a few things. Gonna suspend the regular Smon off of the Lamortmon. It does have piercing for this one as well. And he should be 10k, I think, thanks to Angoramon. HPD gonna send us into the Mon without paying the cost, basically. Gonna suspend a Gammon and then it can swing. It's gonna clear the body and it should burn one. And then we're gonna swing uh, every time it deletes something, it unsuspends. This uh, it actually caught both me and Saf off guard because he did it and then realized that it wasn't once per turn. It's like, oh, I get how this deck works. It just clears the whole board. It's like, yeah. Like, I wasn't ready for it. He wasn't ready for it. But he's putting it to fantastic use here in finals. We do have the jamming Simba and Goromon. But let's not going to go Dire Rabbit first. No reason not to just swing it with jamming and then... Oh, can't go into the Dire Rabbit. Need the level 5 first. Yeah, the Mort still is fine here. Gonna gain some back, and we do have the memory set of heroes, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Finally gonna see a Gammon in the back. Yeah, and it does look like we are slightly bricked up. Too many level 6s. So we are gonna scoop and go into game 2. Alright. We do have our security set up, and it's gonna be Gammon going first. We do have the hero once again. Will we see a Ruli? Because it was really less gameplay on the side of Die Rabbit before. Do you have jamming set up and instead just gonna go for the blocker Angoramon just to try and take some early chip off the board. That said though, if Gammon pushes out evolves into Wenzel, then it will be able to get some extra pressure going in. Gonna load a Ghoulis underneath, then we're gonna have the Bethel Gammon, which does give Blitz. Canalweiss is then going to activate the Bethel Gammon's effect in order to give it Blitz straight under. So even though it's not an Inherit, it has all of the natural effects, so it's just going to let it swing through. We are going to push out, ready to rock. The uh, Mortmon here might be enough. The problem is it doesn't have Blitz. I'm going to go Simba and Goromon, which is then going to free play the Ruli. And what are you, gonna swing it at the Canawice. And does get the DP thanks to the Ruli as well, so it's big enough with the the egg underneath. 
And just to clear the level five, and then we're just gonna swing over the suspended body just to play full board clear, make sure that he's on a proper off turn, and then we're gonna go into the Mortmon for the Digivolution. Once again, that winner's Gammon. And we are gonna pass over a memory setter here. I think I, I think I do like that. It's a relatively low pass versus green that obviously can just cascade out quite quickly. Ooh. Swings in, takes the hit. The Mortmon. And it's not we're just gonna play a really straight this time. The, the Tyranimon does let you free play a three cost or less tamer, but I'm curious to see how it goes. Loading up another Gammon, but hopefully he has one in the back. Going to be able to warp into Canalwise. And then we're going to go into Arcturus mod. Loads up the Betel, and it is going to be enough to clear. And then, of course, we do load the Blitz, thanks to the Canalwise giving the Inherit to give everything above it. Uh, the Gammon in text effects. Pretty cool load there. And now we're going to see the Tyranimon, which then free plays the Ruli. It looks like we're out of Angoramon in hand. Oh, we don't even have the level 5 as well, so... If they can recognize this and just keep loading stuff up, they can make a very, very solid Gammon line here. Speaking of, building the boy up in the back, drop a hero. So next turn it's going to be putting in work. Going to swing for the one check. I think as long as we don't hit a memory setter here, we're fine. Going to go Wenzel in the back. And just gives that nice low one pass. At least we do find a Salamon. Although I think I would have preferred to see the Angora, so unless he drew, he must have drawn the Angora off the Salamon draw, because otherwise you go Angora first and then you search. Not that it matters all that much, because he is going to find a piece. And it does put the Mercy mode to the bottom. I'm not entirely sure what the Mercy mode is looking to hit. Maybe to make your Beelzemon match up slightly easier or something. I'm not fully, fully sure what Mercy Mode hits outside of just being, you know, a valid target because it's not like they have a Blitz Omni. And we are going to swing, swing. And game three. set up in game number three. Once again, we're seeing Gammon go first here. We're going to take the Searcher, which is going to pick up the hero and a piece. Haven't gotten to see Proxima on here, but I do like the drop into drop into get really. Now you can see why he wanted to go second, because it's just, I mean, I guess he would have called it first anyway, but just making immediate value out of it. Very, very cool. I'm gonna see that basil, and he does get the clear as well. What a fantastic use of the new basil! He does have keyword raid. I mean, able to set up another Tyranimon, but setting it up in the back not ideal. It's just gonna give it DP in the future. Might as well. Not playing under a memory setter anyway. Regular Smon and a Gammon, both loaded up. Gammon gonna swing for two, is expected to die, it will die. And Regulus is nine plus two. Gonna go into Arcturus. Gonna load a Gammon, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to give it Blitz or anything like that, so. Arcturus. Should be pretty safe. Three memory. We're not going to be able to blitz or anything like that. Although, if he climbs into a Lamort plus... If he climbs into Lamort plus uh, Arcturus, then it could be pretty dangerous. We are going to get the suspension. 
We do have the reduction of the cost. So that only cost one. The only problem is, look, you can see a full play set of Lamont in hand. Gonna have to drop the Salamon. That's all it, ooh, actually just gonna pass over the regular, the Simba, cause then it can go into, it can go into the Lamont next turn. And it means you can keep the Rookie for Evolution. Yeah, and just swinging through it with Raid every single time. Because we still have the uh, regular Mon also giving the maintained Inherits. This looks really, really rough. That break for Die Rabbit. The opening play was so good, but he's just drawn into trash for the rest of it. And the problem is, everything that he goes for is just going to cost him every time. Like... I think you just play Raid Bully Box here. A very expensive level five. You know the Arcturus is almost definitely just gonna raid straight into it. Brand new hero, this is gonna give sec plus one if he chooses to tap it. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go sec plus one, plus 2k into security. There's another Lamort that gone. I think he's still looking good because Kanawise, there's no blitz or anything like that. I'm surprised he didn't just raid into it. Maybe he just wants to make sure it doesn't stay suspended. I'm going to use the two Rulies to reduce the cost, which means Lamont can come down without passing turn. Uh, but the problem is, I don't think he has a means of doing it without passing turn. I'm going to go into the reboot Die Rabbit, which is going to get the suspension, then end of turn it can attack. Which will then gain one because there's no Digimon that is unsuspended. So he does actually get to clear. And it gets to go into Proxima on the float. Oh no. Gets the unsuspension, then gets to swing. But he's not going to gain the memory back. So he's going to be sideways. No, oh, mine does get the suspension. Loops it again. And gets to clear the Proxima. Great stuff there. So much DP on that Dire Rabbit. And now he's kept turn. He's not going to get the Unsuspension again. But I feel like you might as well just go into Lamort anyway. You can maybe go Mimi to also be playing the Memory Setter game. But I feel like you have to just keep the, um, the, the pressure on. Because you know you're going into a hero anyway. Like, it is going to be pushing out with a memory said, uh, wait, can he just scam game here? Theoretically, he could just go Kano Ice with uh, sec plus one hero plus two and then have the rookie for game. He goes for the cheaper way and I think he's going to play for board again. Yeah, you definitely could gamble it. And we are going to swing it. It does not matter. Able to take it safe, and that is going to be Gammon taking Silly Week. Very, very cool deck. Loving to see these two reboot boosters go through. And if you made it this far, as always, do appreciate the support, especially if you catch yourself a Digi Egg of membership. We will see you in the next one. Until next time, make sure to like and subscribe and stay safe.